Hello and welcome to the Mood Essential Oils video log. Today we're going to have a quick new user's guide for those of you that have just recently discovered essential oils. You may have heard people talking about the amazing benefits of essential oils and wondered how to use them and incorporate them into your life so that you and your family might access their natural healing powers. If you are new to the world of essential oils, we've put together this short guide to using them safely and easily around your home. So how can essential oils be used? There are actually a few ways you can use essential oils. The most common, which we'll look at in more detail, are in a diffuser, in a carrier oil, or in water. Sometimes you will see a suggestion that you can ingest essential oils. However, we specifically do not endorse or support this practice for home use. Some essential oils can be extremely toxic if, not ingest if ingested, so it's definitely not something we recommend. So let's look at diffusers. There's two main types of diffusers, an electric diffuser or a candle diffuser. The basic premise is that oils are added to either water inside the electric diffuser or in small amounts to the top of the candle burner. The electricity or heat causes the diffuser to produce a fine steam. This is the most popular way to get the benefits of essential oils and more than one oil can be used at once. Generally we recommend no more than two to three drops of oil are ever needed so two to three drops of one, two to three drops of another, etc. The healing properties that are airborne and inhaling them are considered safe. When working with candles, care should obviously be taken to ensure that no flames are left unattended and you should check that all oils you plan to use are safe for any children or animals in your home. Some, for example, could prove fatal to caged birds. Carrier oils. Because most oils are so concentrated, they need to be diluted for safe use. Carrier oils, such as almond oil, are perfect for creating a form of rubbing oil. Again, just a few drops are needed, and oils can be blended with others to create the ideal therapeutic effect. Once mixed with the oil, the blend can be used as a massage oil or topical application. Sometimes adding a hot water bottle to the area once the oils have been applied can enhance the effect. Again, pay attention to anything you apply to your skin if you're caring for babies, children, or have animals that might lick you. Water. We've already seen that essential oils can be added to water for use in diffusers, but they can also be added to water in other ways. You can add essential oils to baths for a foot soak, although adding them to a small amount of milk before adding to the water is the best practice as this prevents damage or scorching to the oil. Inhalation of certain oils is excellent for cold and flu relief. Eucalyptus and peppermint, for example, can help with stuffy noses. In this case, you add a few drops of water hot enough to add a few drops to water that is hot enough to create steam. Then place your head over a bowl with a towel to create a mini sauna. Neat. Now. There are only a few oils that in some cases it is safe to use neat on your skin without any form of dilution. However, until you understand and have learned about oils, it's not advised. The only exception we will tell you about being one to two drops of lavender oil as emergency first aid to a new burn. So, as you can see, essential oils are easy to incorporate in daily life. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the blog and we'll see you again next time.